Today, we will be looking at abscesses in animals, and the first case study will be anal sac abscess in dogs. So this is a Jack Russell that came into two pile vents with a swelling yellow and white abscess at the anus. And after antibiotics treatment, the abscess eventually ruptured. What is anal sac abscess? Anal sac abscess are painful infections of one or both of the small sac-like structures on either side of your pet's anus. About 12% of dogs will be affected by this disease. The abscess is a collection of pus that has accumulated within a tissue because of an inflammation in response to an infection. What is the anal sac for? The anal sac produces a yellowish fluid like cooking oil and it's passed up together with the stools daily. The fluid is used by a dog to mark territory. So why do anal sac abscesses occur? Well, in some dogs, especially small breed dogs, they aren't able to empty the sacs properly and because of their narrow channels, hence becoming susceptible to anal sac diseases. Now we're moving on to diagnosis. There are three aspects to look at when it comes to diagnosis. Firstly, the history of the animal. This encompasses an observation of the animal and the signs and symptoms it exhibits. If your pet is recently infected, it may show one or more of these signs or symptoms. Firstly would be the licking of the anal area. Secondly would be when the animal appears to be unhappy or uncomfortable. Thirdly would be when there's discomfort passing stool. Fourth, when there's scooting on the floor, which is also seen when the dog rubs its butt on the floor or carpets. Fifth would be biting or chasing its tail. And lastly, we are swelling of the anal area. It would then be followed by a physical examination where the vet will examine the animal in two aspects, visual and palpation. For the visual aspect, the vet will be looking out for swelling at the anus, yellow and white abscess at the anal sac, or a ruptured anal sac. For palpation, Perhaps it can be manifested when there's pain, or when the vet touches the area, or tenderness. Lastly, it involves an abscess culture where the tissues will be removed from the abscess and sent to a laboratory to culture the bacteria to aid in the identification of a suitable antibiotic. Now we will be moving on to the surgical procedure for the treatment of anal sac abscesses. For anal sac abscesses, there are two types of cases. Firstly, when the abscess has ripened, and secondly, when the abscess has not ripened. When the abscess is ripened, meaning it's going to burst soon and it looks soft, then the vet will just lance it. However, when the abscess is not ripened, the vet may put that animal on antibiotics for about two days before lancing it or allowing it to rupture on its own. In both cases, surgical treatment of the wound is necessary. Now we will be showing you three videos of the entire surgical procedure and narration will be comments by Dr. Singh on the surgical treatment procedure. procedure. Firstly, we will be to place the dog at the setting. The procedure is simple as it involves cleaning the area before the injection and this is usually for intravenous anesthesia. The catch lies in the anesthetic risk which is evident from every procedure and every surgery as it's most frequent in older animals or younger animals and it just involves the risk that when animals are under anesthetic, they may not wake up. Next, we will involve the cleaning of the affected area. To clean the wound, hydrogen peroxide or similar antiseptic may be used. This is essential to keep the area hygienic and to prevent infection, etc. the 
police in dark police clip, which he now perceived to be operation. A good surgical practice would be to elevate the dog's backside in order to provide better exposure on the surgical area for the vet. It is then more convenient for the vet so he does not need to bend down. In this video, you would see the vet carry out the brightman, which is to surgically cut off dead, damaged, or infected tissues to improve the healing potential of the remaining healthy tissue. Followed by that, you would then stitch up the wound. After surgery, the dog still requires care. Firstly, one can consider giving the dog soft food to prevent the heart stones from straining the anal area. Secondly, the vet will also provide painkillers, antibiotics, and an e collar to prevent the dog from licking the affected area. Here's a simple summary of the timeline before and after surgery. Firstly, we just have to carry out hypnosis, and as you can see, this video job looks really great, and hence, people should be careful when handling such a great job. In addition, pre-surgery also involves shaving the affected area to prevent hair from interfering in surgery, etc. After shaving the dog, it will be surgery and post-surgery the dog looks happy and healthy.